Every year in Britain, half a million old cars are scrapped or are left abandoned by their owners in city streets, in country lanes, in woods and heathland. Here they rot and decay, becoming an embarrassment to local authorities and an affront to the public. By the early 1970s, up to a million cars will come off the roads each year. It is imperative that action be taken now, for soon it will be hard to find a mile of road or an acre of British countryside uncluttered by abandoned cars. Solving this problem has presented the scrap industry not only in Britain, but throughout the world with its most formidable challenge. The man in the street may well ask why scrapping old cars should be such a problem. After all, he pays anything up to a thousand pounds or so for his new car, and its raw materials must surely have some scrap value. Well, they do. But the value is rather less than the traditional breaking up costs. The average scrap merchant now understandably prefers not to handle them. At the best, they take them for free, but often ask to be paid to take them away. The answer is clear. We must break away from tradition. We must go modern. We must, in fact, go Prola. Prola is a revolutionary process. A single factory can convert up to 400,000 cars a year into the highest grade of scrap for steel making. Absolutely clean and free from impurities. By 1967, Prola Cohen Limited one of the George Cohen 600 group of companies, will have the first of a series of Prola plants fully operational in Britain. When established, it will, almost overnight, solve the scrap car problem and provide the British steel industry with a new and vital raw material for the production of high-quality steel. Take another look at the size of the problem. Within 10 years, most of these cars will have been scrapped. Top quality steel was used to make them. It will take the Polar plant just 15 seconds to reduce cars such as these to fist-sized pieces of clean steel. And the steel will be of the same high quality as that originally used to make the car. This is the essence of Prola. Basically, it is a scrap processing factory which has been perfected over the past eight years by the Polar Steel Corporation, who have several such plants operating in the USA. The plant, now to be erected in Britain, will be about 100 yards long and including stockyards will cover some 12 acres. The plant will be designed to meet British requirements and much of it will be made in Britain. The Polar process is continuous and fully automatic. Cars and other forms of light scrap are picked up by a crane equipped with a cactus grab and are placed upon an apron conveyor. Normally the tires, radiators and batteries are removed, for these command a good scrap value. And as a safety precaution, the petrol tanks must be taken out. Vehicles travel along the conveyor and are dropped some 40 feet into a powerful disintegrator driven by an electric motor of several thousand horsepower. Here the cars are reduced to pieces about the size of a man's palm. The small pieces of steel, along with non-ferrous and such debris as plastics, wood, rubber, glass and upholstery, are further processed and the steel is separated from the waste. Before the polar steel scrap emerges, it passes through a further process for final cleaning. The uncontaminated steel is finally segregated from the waste by magnets. It is crushed in its heated state, you can see the steam, into a more compact form, about the size of a man's fist, and emerges from a chute to drop into waiting wagons. 
The debris and waste drops from another chute into other wagons. Even the waste is not wasted. It can be used for filling gravel pits, clay works and other excavations. It is only a matter of minutes from the time the cars are placed on the conveyor to the time they emerge as polarized scrap, as pure and as clean as the steel originally used to make them. And the entire process is dust free. The whole plant is covered by a high efficiency dust collection system to guard against any form of air pollution. The polar process is so quick, so efficient, that Polar Cohen will pay for old cars. Instead of derelicts being a liability, local authorities and scrap merchants will be able to profit by selling old cars and light scrap to the Polar Cohen company. The small scrap dealer will become an even more vital link in the supply chain. Cars will come from hundreds of different sources. Scrap will be dispatched to steelworks by special trains provided by British Rail, who have fully cooperated during the months of planning that have gone into this enterprise. The story does not end with cars. Other forms of light scrap, at present of little value for steel making because of the high impurity content, can also be treated by the Polar factory and turned into high quality, dense scrap that is ideal for the steel furnaces. Washing machines, refrigerators, cooking stoves, enameled ware of every kind, the status symbols discarded by the affluent society and left on heaps to rot and clutter the waysides of Britain will be reclaimed with pro. Nothing will be wasted. Keep Britain tidy will take on a new and vital meaning. It will mean good business for the public, the scrap merchant and the steelworks. Indeed, it is fair to say that everyone will profit with Prona.